uh, if I played better. I probably, I mean, might have been able to win both games. You can always win games if you play better. Always the case. I'm yeah, glad you enjoyed. Can you hear it? The end of the alliance. I see. An acceptable ally. <laughs> Transition to a regular game. Well, the reason why I all end is because uh, I don't believe that my race can beat his race in a regular game. That's that's why I chose to all in both games. It is an alpha. The balance of the game is not perfect. I think I could have killed him though. I didn't do uh, several things quite right. Billion stuns here. Well, not really, but we do have a lot of CC. Surely I get some meat. What's up, Eamon? How's it going? I see I must fight your battles for you. Our chess players don't know how to deal with the rush and the hero to hero. Yeah, everyone had like uh, very different styles, which was pretty cool. Unfortunately, I think that's kind of only the case because the game is so early and uh, there's no replays. Thirty-five years later and still enjoying the stream. Keep it up. Thank you, Tom Bone. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for the thirty-five years of support, as always, and welcome back. Yeah, the the more information is easily distributed, the more everyone will just play. You know, the meta what people think is most good. But since in the alpha, the information was very difficult to be distributed, everyone's playing their own shit. It's pretty interesting. I still have not killed a hero. My KTZ has a lot of snacks though. All good, we're scaling. When's the Stormgate? Um, I think the Stormgate one is in February. Mm, sometime in February, I think Stormgate's gonna have another alpha or beta or whatever. No. I'll probably play that one too. I know. Kind of getting worse. Uh -huh. Oh. Okay, time to run. Three man for himself. Good luck. Are you running at me? Even if they're not, I guess this whole core is pretty annoying. I'm going over here.
2024 the year for the return of RTS? One can hope. I'm a little bit skeptical about how many people are willing to play RTS. Like, I think... I think if, uh... It really depends on how much they can make RTS easier to play. You know, like, more accessible for the casual player. If it's not easy and, and accessible for the casual player, then... No way. No way will RTS make a big comeback. So we'll, we'll see how much easier they can make it for a casual player. People running at me for what the hell? It says you cannot use Prime until January 21st, but today is January 21st. Maybe you just gotta wait a couple hours. I don't know. Sometimes it's weird like that, or maybe try refreshing your stream or something. Like uh, it, it's, it's a little buggy sometimes. In your opinion, RTS died not because of difficulty or barrier to entry, but everyone who plays at that. Wait, wait. But because they would rather have teammates blame losses. I don't think that's like super true because, like, if you play RTS, you're gonna realize they had they they just blame the race that they play. Like every RTS player doesn't blame themselves; they blame their race. Okay, the race you play is underpowered, and the race that beats you is overpowered. Like that's just how it is. So I don't agree with that because you know, RTS players already blame something else. It's not like there's nothing they can blame. Good night, Death Frost. Thanks for dropping by. I'll catch you next time. Aha! We scaling big tonight. So far, so scaly. Unless you're in a, like a mirror matchup, well, then then you you can blame like lag or or, or something. You know. You can always find something. Oh, Toast, thanks for gifting the sub to Crispin. Crispin doesn't have to worry about it anymore. Appreciate it, Toast. Make sure you think, you uh, Crispin. My... Yeah, you gotta give sub Crispin from Toast. Hago. I, I feel like RTS died because it's too hard. Like, I'm pretty sure almost everyone in chat has played StarCraft at some point in time, or StarCraft 2. Like, that is literally the flagship game that kicked off all of esports for Blizzard. Like, why did you guys stop playing StarCraft 2? Or WarCraft 3, sure. Like, surely almost everyone's played at least one of those two. Those are very popular games back in the day. You shall have my aim. Or AoE too, you know, if you used to play that, why why did you stop playing that? Any of them. That's complete, time defeat. Too hard, I sucked. Ladder anxiety. I didn't stop. See, most of the answers just boil down to it's too hard. I mean, ladder anxiety is because it's too hard. You suck, that's because it's too hard. Too hard, that's because it's too hard. You never stopped? Okay, well, that's a little different, but you know, you're in the minor. Oh wow, he canceled. Your friends stopped playing? They probably stopped playing because it was too hard, let's be real. You know, or because they suck, because it was too hard. You know. Yeah. 
I didn't get the meat! Fuck! It would've been hella worth it if I got the meat. I feel like the same thing happened to Fortnite and they had to do no build Fortnite. Well, you know, like I felt like the same thing happened. Because building would, became too hard once people got good enough. You know, like Great Wall of China player versus like some new player that doesn't even remember what button his sidewall is. Like, you know, I feel like Fortnite had the same problem. Like, so once, once you have something really technical like that, like. It just the, the the casual players just can't hang anymore, and then they they don't want, want to play anymore because they just get shit on every game. Wow, my team's oh. Free meat buffet. I'll take it. Fortnite is way more popular than than RTS. Yeah, but. But I do feel like it, a lot of people stop playing it when, uh, when you know, before they introduce no build, because people are just too good at building at some point. Play Fortnite on your phone. Is that true? I don't think you can. Not easily, at least. Bigger modes help with that? Team games? Yeah, it probably does. I'm quite curious to see if the new RTS titles will succeed. I mean, I do feel like most of them have the right idea. A lot of them are trying to do like more co-op, more campaign, more team mode. I think Stormgate's trying to do all of that. Um, simplify, you know, the difficulty a little bit. Simplify the mundane stuff. They, they are all going in the right direction, I think. I'm curious to see if it'll be enough, though. I wonder. The heroes looked fun in the tournament? Yeah, they were fun. They are pretty fun. But like, at the end of the day, it's still an RTS, you know? Like, it's not easy. Like, if you're a casual, you're still gonna get rolled, you know? Like, so, I wonder. I guess we'll see. No frost wolf should be held in chains. Get them out of those cages and onto the battlefield. Enough! Back. That is so many waves, holy. No way casuals are playing RTS in 2024 when they can't even handle MOBAs anymore. What do casuals play these days, anyways? 
Do they not play mobs anymore? I don't, I don't even know what they play these days. Oh my god, it's a buffet. Hell yeah. Fortnite, Counter-Strike. I feel like gun games have an advantage for casuals. It's just like... You shall have my it's so easy to get into. You just click someone's head. Like, it's just so intuitive and like so easy. I guess it makes sense. Classic WoW, yeah, a lot of people do play Classic WoW and stuff. I guess a lot of them are there too. Oh no. I could have got one more auto attack on him, I feel like. But I didn't. That's okay, still scaling. I'm also down for a new MOBA. Down for a new MOBA. That's just better than all the current MOBAs. That's probably never happening though. Arena of Valor is a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed Arena of Valor, yeah. That game's uh very well made. I mean I mean they, they, they probably have infinite budget because they make so much money in Asia. But like no one plays it in the West, so can't play it much here. That's a uh, that's a mobile MOBA for those of you that don't know. It's, I think that's actually technically the most popular MOBA in the world. It's it's the like mobile MOBA everyone in China plays, but no one plays it here. Is it as good as HOTS? Yeah, I think so. Um, mobile MOBAs went in the right direction. Like, they went in the HOTS direction. Um, wow, I only got one. Like, most mobile MOBAs are emphasizing shorter game times. This is the only spot where there's no APOC, thank you. Face Diablo. I appreciate that. Uh yeah, most 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 mobile MOBAs emphasize like shorter game times and more fighting, so So like you you, you fight with like way faster and way more often than in PC MOBAs. Which I think is good. Like more action faster is what what people need to to stay interested. Okay, I don't, I don't know if I, I, mean, I don't even kill this. This, this core, this core is no joke, dude. That thing messes.
If he has too much damage, you get one shot all the time. Oh, I'm, sh I'm, I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm sure there's like some areas that could be improved for sure. What is Abathur's monstrosity change on PTR? Um, I think it just makes it into a quest so people can see how many stacks your monstrosity is at when they open the the talents. Oh, that's a big lamb! Big lammers! Dota is still very popular on Steam, but I think the consensus is like... I mean, it's not getting any more new players as far as I know. I think it's just like kind of steady or maybe slowly declining. I don't think Dota is getting many new players. Like, like League has way more players, I, I feel like. G. 350? Not bad. Respectable.